Hi there, good afternoon and a very warm welcome. This is Love Audio's channel. Uh, thank you for joining me. My name is Paul Weber, and uh, I thought I'd uh, come on and uh, show you a voiceover. I was uh, just doing a voiceover in the booth there, and this is for a demo for a uh, video uh, that's uh, going to be talking about uh, an, a, an area of natural, uh, outstanding natural beauty. So um, I wanted to just um, bring in the audio production here for you just to see what's going on and you can see my kind of process from start to finish. So I've already recorded the the, uh, the voiceover demo itself and you can see I've just started to kind of edit out the, the breaths a bit. So um, the naturist haunt. There was once a lime kiln on I'll start again from this bit here. There was once a lime kiln on the cliffs here, which processed lime for agricultural purposes and an associated counting house. So I'm going to leave the natural breath in there. So this is a... And an associated counting house. But I'm going to take out that bit there. And I'm leaving plenty of gaps uh, because this is going to be for a video. So the, um, the editor of the video will put my words together with the, uh, the moving... Uh, images, of course, from the video itself. So um, take out that there. Mountain House. Ships travelled between here and South Wales, bringing coal and limestone. Bringing coal and limestone. And taking... There's a bit of a gap there, so let's just take that out. Bringing coal and limestone. And taking away iron and manganese from the nearby mines. Mines. Kumai. <laughs> Big breath there. <laughs> Let's take that out. There we go. Okay. Mines. Kumartin itself was once a busy port with its share of tales of seafarers. Yeah, so it's telling the story there. So let's just take out that gap and bring that slightly closer together. Once a busy port. With its ship. Actually, we don't need to do it. We'll leave the gap in, I think. But, um, Shipwrecks. We've taken out any silence that might have been there anyway, so that's cool. Um, let's do that. The most noted visitor from foreign shores. Let's drop the volume down a bit because I, I noticed it was um, louder than my voice narrating the actual stream. So uh, my apologies for that. Uh, if you want to say hi, by the way, you can just drop into the comments and um, they should flash up on screen. So uh, we'd love to hear from you this afternoon. Um, right, wait, let's have a look. The most noted visit. There we go, let's just edit that. The most noted visitor from foreign shores was the 17th century Earl of Rhone. All I'm doing is just taking out any silences. I mean, it's it, the good thing is that um, the microphone in the booth is a Marshall MXL 2001, and I've had it for about 15, 20 years, and it's been so good to me. Um, and I've also got um, a limiter, just a very gentle limiter coming in on that particular channel for that microphone. So it's actually, um, or a gate rather, I should say, it's it's stopping any background noise uh, from being recorded during the gaps in the in the audio, as it were. So there's not too much to take out, I'm pleased to say. Earl of Rhone from Tyrone in Ireland. Closer together. Earl of Rhone from Tyrone in Ireland. And then this bit starts again. Whose ship or Yeah, so it's a continuation of that sentence. I think I took a breath there anyway. Rhone in Ireland, whose ship was said to have been wrecked at nearby Rappery Beach in Ilfracombe. Rhone in Ireland, whose ship was said to have been wrecked in Ireland, whose ship... See, see I, the, what I want to do is to tighten this up without it sounding too robotic, okay? Because um, I obviously hesitated on each of the words, so let's have a listen. Whose ship... Yeah. Whose ship was... Whose ship was... Do that one there. And then edit that. Was... Bring that in closer. Whose ship was said to have been wrecked? Whose ship was said to have? Whose ship was said to have been wrecked? Whose ship was said to have been wrecked at nearby? 
whose ship was said to have been wrecked, whose ship was wrecked, wrecked, at near wrecked. Press there, take that out. Wrecked at nearby. Bring that closer. Wrecked at nearby Rappery Beach in Ilfracombe. Yeah, that's better. Beach in Ilfracombe. Allegedly, beach in Ilfracombe. Beach in Ilfracombe. Allegedly, beach in Ilfracombe. Allegedly, Let's leave a bit more gap there in case there's a, a big gap in the video where they need to kind of bring the audio in. So I just want to make sure that that's okay. Uh, just let me make sure the. Uh, Thing is okay as well, which is cool. If you like, I say, if you want to say hi, then please do drop me a line. Um, if I type in here, hello, uh, hello to you, please say hi. <laughs> please say hi. Oh, that should come up on the stream in a moment or two. Um, there we go. Cool. Okay, so let's go back to the editing. Make sure that's on, which it is. And let's view. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Um, let's recent entries. Okay, let's talk voiceover. Hmm, interesting. Let's go here. And go to voiceover, demo voiceover. Yes, correct. Brilliant. So I should already be in. Uh, here we go. Okay. So. I should move that over there, actually, because you can see that, can't you? <laughs> Sorry. Miles away. Um. Let's do that, move that across. All right, go next. Yes, it is. That's fine. There we go. Okay. Should be fine now. There we go, that's better. And click OK with that. All right, that should be fine. Good, OK, let's get back to the editing anyway. Bakum. Allegedly, the Earl's vessel was not wrecked at all. Bakum. Allegedly, Allegedly, the Earl's vessel was not wrecked at all, but like many, an, but like many another community, but like many other, allegedly, the Earl's vessel was not wrecked at all. But like many, an, but like many another community, but like many other, like many another community, but like many another, but like many an, community. But like many, but like many another community, the folk of Coombe Martin didn't let the truth get in the way at nearby Rappery Beach in Ilfracombe. Allegedly, the Earl's vessel was not wrecked at all. Take out the mistakes. There might be a spelling mistake in there anyway, but I have done a different version, so we'll, we'll take a look in a moment. All. But like many another community, the folk of Coombe Martin didn't let the truth get in the way of a good tale and a good celebration. Okay, so we go there and click there. Try that again, move that back a little bit. To get in the way of a good tale and a good celebration. Choosing in st 
choosing choosing instead to honour the event every year with the annual Hunting of the Earl of... OK, so we just go there for the edit and there as well. Choose, let's uh, take that out with the Erase tool and then bring that in closer. ...event every year with the annual Hunting of the Earl of Rhone. Bit of a gap there, so I'm going to bring that closer. And then bring that in a bit closer like that. So listen to the whole thing. With the annual Hunting of the Earl of Rhone. There you go. With the annual Hunting of the Earl of Rhone. Brilliant. Just do that last paragraph again. Coombe Martin... It That's um, what I've done is I've left a note in there for the editor because this is a demo and I want him to choose the best paragraph out of these two reads. So I've left deliberately left a narration in there. Uh, let me just have a listen to this. Just do that. Yeah, let's just chop that off there. Just so he knows there's a break in the uh, narration. The Earl of Rhone. Just do that last paragraph again. Coombe Martin itself was once a busy port with its share of tales of seafarers and shipwrecks. Brex. The most noted visitor from foreign shores was the 17th century Earl of Rhone from Tyrone in Ireland. 17th century Earl of Rhone from Tyrone in Ireland. Okay, it's that bit there. 17th century Earl of Rhone <clears throat> from Tyrone in Ireland, whose ship was said to have. 17th century and whose ship was said to have been wrecked. And whose. And again, we're tightening up the paragraph here because I did tend to leave gaps between the words. So, I want to just make sure it's nice and clean and tight for the for the client whose ship was. Whose ship was said to have? Whose ship was said to have? There we go. Just edit that bit there together. Bring that in closer. Whose ship was said to have been wrecked at nearby Rappery Beach in Ilfracombe? Yeah, that that makes a lot more sense. To have been wrecked at nearby Rappery Beach in Ilfracombe. Boom. Tor. It's a. A story of pirate cities. Ah, I mean, lovelies. Fantastic. It's good job we're in Devon, isn't it? Boom. Um. <clears throat> Boom. Allegedly, the Earl's vessel. Leave a little bit more gap there in case there's a nice picture of they want, an image they want to kind of transition to there. Boom. Allegedly, the Earl's vessel was not wrecked at all, but like. Wrecked at all. But like many other communities, the folk of com but like many other communities, like many other communities, like many other communities, hmm. Take out that. I'm being quite aggressive with the editing. Like many other communities, like many other communities, the folk of Coombe Martin didn't let the truth get in the way of a good tale. Like many other communities, the folk of Coombe Martin didn't let the truth get in the way of a good tale. And a Okay, there we go. And we edit that bit as well. Bring that in slightly. In the way of a good tale and a good celebration. Okay. <laughs> Choosing in... Big breath there, so I'll take that out because we don't need that in there. Bring that in closer. Choosing instead to honour the event every year with the annual Hunting of the Earl of Rhone. <laughs> okay, so then erase the last bit of that and then reduce so let's bring that down or bring that up i should say there we go let's squeeze it in a bit tighter <clears throat> excuse me and then um what i tend to do is 
uh, because it's quite a long track. Uh, it starts here. Although it is possible to reach Wild Pear Beach on foot. And then bring the end to here. Zoom in so we don't catch the Hunting end of, of the Earl of Roan. There we go. Uh, go back to there. And what I'm going to do is lasso the whole thing. So they all highlight themselves like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, what I can do is right click there and go to Merge Events. That then creates this whole just single file, really, um, which is what I want. And I'm going to rename it. Um, rename events so I know what it is. I'm going to call this um, uh, Adam HW HW video demo PW. And I normally try and put uh, the date on it as well, so 11.06.20. And the reason for that is that, so, you know, when I, when I try and find this particular um, piece of audio again, I can then easily find it in amongst everything else that I've done recently. So I'll just highlight that, go to Song, go to Export Mix Down, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we go here and we go... Today's day, 11.06.20. Okay, it's a 24-bit, 48 kilohertz um, WAV file. And this will save it as a stereo file, which is fine. Uh, I'm recording it in mono, as you can see, but I want it to be stereo file as we send it out to the clients. It's just over a minute, yeah, minute 47 <clears throat> in total. Um, seems longer than that, doesn't it? But <laughs> um, should be absolutely fine. So we click OK. What that does then is... Um, because 10 times faster than real time, which is cool. So that's now rendering that to a stereo file. And there it is. Um, <clears throat> so then I can send that out to YouTube. Uh, YouTube. I can send that out via um, uh, WeTransfer to the client. Client downloads it, and then everybody's happy. So uh, that's really what it's like. Um, start to finish in regards to creating a video for uh, this particular client, which is cool. Um, I noticed my message has just come up there, which is fine. Um, let me just get rid of that for you so it's not in the way. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, if you want to know what I'm using, by the way, the as I say, the microphone in the booth is a Marshall MXL 2001. The, the desk mic here is an Icon C14. And we're going through the uh, PreSonus Studio Live 32SC desk. And if I go there, you'll be able to see that a bit more close up on the shot, which is cool. Um, the software I'm using is the PreSonus Studio One Professional, uh, up to 4.6 point something or other, I think. Let's have a look here. Studio One, 4.6.2.58, etc., etc. So, yeah. Um, uh, nice and advanced on that one, which is really cool. If you would like to support the channel in any way, then please do visit me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash love audio production. Um, please do take a look at that. I've I've included a load of photos in there for you to watch, by the way. It doesn't cost you anything. Just go on and have a look of the studio build, because this used to be two old sheds, believe it or not, outside the house here. Um, and just before Christmas, we decided to knock down the sheds, or at least part of the sheds anyway, and uh, insulate, make it soundproof, uh, make it warm as well, because it was absolutely bitterly cold out here in the winter, as you can imagine. But it does get really hot when it's hot weather um, here in the summertime. So I might invest in some air con at some stage, perhaps, if it gets any hotter. Um, but yeah, please do have a look at the Patreon, Patreon site. You'll see all the photographs there of the start to finish build, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, another way you can support, of course, is to is to tick the subscribe button. Uh, this side somewhere down the video, where are we? <laughs> Can't do it. Uh, but you know what I mean, down there somewhere, the subscribe button. And hit the bell so that you're notified each time we go live and um, and you can join us on future streams. I generally go live on a Monday night at eight o'clock UK time um, and talk through all sorts of different production things uh, using Studio One. If you want to join me for that, please do so.
Um, the only uh, other way you can support the channel, by the way, is to get one of these fantastic new uh, T-shirts or mugs. <clears throat> so you can go to my Teespring site. Excuse me. Uh, problem with the voiceover is that um, there's no liquid here. <laughs> I can't have a drink. Uh, we'll go and get myself a drink, though, in a minute. So you can check out the, uh, the T-shirt there. I love audio, which is pretty cool. And if you go back uh, to there, you can also check out the mugs that I've got on there as well. I've got some of these coming as a sample, so I will be um, showing them off in, in future streams. But that's pretty cool. Uh, please do support if you possibly can. It'll be really good. And uh, yeah, just uh, keep, on, uh, keep on checking back and, and we'll speak again soon. But that kind of wraps things up for this particular little stream about the voiceover for the video demo. Do hope you've enjoyed it and uh, look forward to seeing you on a future stream fairly soon. Uh, my name is Paul Weber. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye now.